Got my boy Paige Kennedy up in his joint. What up, though? Got what Melody. Up, She's chilling in here. Yeah. Owen Hill Jr. Y'all hear his name in the beginning of a lot of the tracks. The mastermind behind that, and everybody know Paige. You done seen him in so much stuff. He's on the same team track with me in Street Light, the uh, cameras. Oh, yeah, I'm excited about this one, too, man. What you doing in LA? Just chill. Because you in New York. Yeah, it's for, I have to get away from the cold. It's snowing over there. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. We'll be right back. Let's get it done. So basically, I'm a miracle standing on the planet. Never took for granted the cards I was handed. I just took the race card and ran it. After she scanned it, I signed the receipt with God plant this. So you can see that there's a future for the few of us when that loose loosens up and we can make Lucifer let loose of us. Turn the cameras on. Ooh! Crazy. 12 bars feel better than 16. Because it leaves you wanting more. You know and, what I'm saying? And I'm not used to doing 12 or 16 bars. I'm used to 42 bars. He's just 100 bars like cannabis. <laughs> I got my girl Chris to turn up in here. Say what's up. Hey, y'all. What's up? She was doing the jazz scat to this joint. Scat for him, girl. Put on the afterburner in the studio with my girl Chris Turner. Yeah, she hit the scat. Yeah, we take it back. I'm telling y'all, get yeah, that girl is all that. That's all y'all get. That's all y'all get. Y'all don't need to be, you know, that's it. Do you have some a project you're working on or something that um, they should check I'm out? I'm working on stuff. I'm working on, I'm starting to work on new music, but that's not going to be till like later. End of 2013. This light is all harsh on her, girl. Y'all, yeah, I'm gonna come over to the side and stuff. That's, I gotta get the light on the back. And look at her hair. The light. Oh. Check it out. Check that out. She got a half, half fro. Half fro. Is that what it's called? Half fro. Mm -hmm. She got the half fro, y'all. Y'all mess with the half fro. We gotta do some work, though, y'all. Yeah, we gotta get to work. What's that note? Baby, That's all I need. I need to break down the note. You wanna try it? With the beat? I'm gonna answer some questions of the day instead of y'all seeing me naked. GDTV222 says, could you give me some tips on how to grow body flexibility? He wants some exercises. Because he says that uh, his body is fit but not flexible at all. The thing about flexibility is it's something that has to be done daily. You have to do it every day so that you can get more and more flexible, at least every other day. Throughout these videos, I always do some stretches. So I don't know which days they are. We did about 30 days. So you can go back and look through these videos and you'll find some really cool stretches. What up, son? I'm doing a daily vlog and you calling in, son. What up? You guys see? Just checking in, making sure my nigga day storm is A-O-K. You stupid, son. Our next question of the day is from Sweet Fem 87 who says, Hey, day storm. How you doing, Sweet Fem 87 She says, I did the 10 pounds in two weeks. Now I'm stuck at a certain weight. How do I get unstuck? Or what can I do to continue losing the weight? You got to always continue to step it up. Because as the body gets used to and adapts to certain workouts, then you have to start pushing your body to the next level. Walking up the steps for an old lady and walking up the steps for you is a different task. That's like a whole workout for her old ass. But for you, sweet them, that ain't even a workout. Further adjust your diet and then keep increasing your workout. If you've been working out for 20 minutes, maybe you want to work out for 30 and get a little more intense. You want to start cutting back on more of the carbs and more of the fat so that you can continue to move forward and see more results. Okay, I'm going to do one more. It's from Tony Santos World. He said, I want to know because money is tight in my family, so food is hard at times. He said, do you have any recommendations for good foods that are also cheap? Well, let me tell you something, Tony. It costs more to go out and eat than to stay home and cook. A lot of people just don't like to cook. Fruit and vegetables are not that expensive. Unfortunately, in the society that we live in, Food is jacked up really high, especially food that's really good for you. You got all these processed foods going through our lower income neighborhoods. I haven't seen a whole food supermarket until I moved out of the ghetto. So my suggestion to you is to cook bigger meals. Like if you're going to cook something, make sure that your mother or yourself cook big pots of spaghetti that'll last two or three days. Though you don't have that much variety, you're eating healthy and you're stretching your dollar. But good luck, Tony Santos. See y'all later.